Hi, welcome to Yoga with Andrea. This is the show that's aired, brings it into your home every day almost. We're glad you've tuned in. And it's the home of Very Yoga, a style of yoga that Brian Fowler, thank you for being here again. Glad to be here. I love having you on the show. We created Very Yoga several years ago because of the style that with so many different styles of Hatha Yoga in the world that we thought, you know, we need to create our own. And one of the things about Very Yoga, One Journey, Many Paths, is that not one style fits all. That's right. We acknowledge the individual. And each of us are different. And so we may need a little more energizing poses. We may need a little more relaxing poses. And you can let yoga fit whatever you need. It's yes. not just one size, one type of practice. It right. varies. Definitely. And so today's show, as you can see, we're standing. So guess what we're going to be working on? Standing, standing poses. Pose. <laughs> and the very first one that a lot of people have seen or have learned is just stand, I would call it the posture, standing straight, and it's Tadasana. Tada means mountain. So join us here, and what you want to do is place your feet, not right to the outside of your hips or right close together, but a happy medium. We sometimes call it fist width apart. So you look down there and you can come see. It's like so your feet are right under the center of your hips. And how Tadasana gets its name is think about a mountain. You've probably seen mountains in your life. They're rooted in the earth, so they have the strong base, their legs, but then they're continuing to stretch skyward towards the heavens, the crown the of your head. Mountain peak, yeah. The mountain peak, exactly. So we do that. Our legs are our support, which then we lengthen through our spine, let the shoulders release beside your ears, down from your ears, arms beside you, and extend through the crown of your head. And what else about this pose, Brian? Hmm. You keep your chin neutral, you don't lift your chin. Mm -hmm. Draw it back, to draw the jaw back a little bit. Yeah, and you balance your weight between the front of your feet and the back of your feet. All right, from the bottom of the foot to the heel. And check into your knees, make sure you're not locking them. Last time I'm turned sideways and show you this, I'll suddenly say straighten your legs, and all of a sudden you just go, Wah. Wah, and you're pushing your knees way back. No, unlock, unlock. Oh, Thanks, yeah. <laughs> So you have a little softness in the knees. Your legs are straight. And I want to just show you this. This is what I've learned this in yoga, is that if you teach yourself to stand this way, that you will you get more energy. And the reason is because you're using this, the strongest muscles in your body, your leg muscles, and the largest bones, your femur bones, to support you, support your spine. Let your spine, the energy of your spine can be free. The nervous system can move to do its work more smoothly because I want to show you something this is the way when I'm tired so I give you permission that if you see me in the community like a lot of you do and thank you very much for saying you love the show we love bringing it to you and if you see me standing somewhere talking to somebody and I'm not standing in Tadasana you can come over and say hey where's that Tadasana uh, you're asking for it you know. I know I am <laughs> but I like it I want it so this is how I stand when I'm tired I'm gonna turn my back on you so you can see my spine what happens is I usually put weight on this leg stick the hip out Put this foot out. That's my mm -hmm. stance. Hand here. Where's my shoulders? Where's my, my, my spine? You probably can see it's not totally in alignment. So play with the, see that for yourself. Are you standing like this right now? Are you standing like this? Are you standing one leg? Check it out. So hopefully not, because we've just told you to come into Tadam. <clears throat> Something else that's important about the way that we stand, as often we'll stand with our feet out like this. This yes. is actually a Tai Chi position in different disciplines. It is. But Tar Charlie have, Chaplin. That's right. But if you uh, if you have a chronic standing like this, and this is the way that you stand all the mm. time, you're going to you're going to create in your body a tension in the glutes and Ooh. in the piriformis muscles yes. that interact with your sciatic nerve. And so bringing your feet into a parallel position with each other helps to release some of that pressure on the glutes and the interaction of the muscles with the sciatic nerve. Mm -hmm. So bring your legs around so your feet are parallel. Good. Yeah, and then let's bend our knees a little bit. And as you bend your knees, look down at your toes. So a, a bending to protect the knees is you want to bend and let your hips sink back and down so you can still see your toes. So try that with us. Put your hands on your thighs and just slowly bend down. This starts working your quads. Oh, yes. And then slowly straighten. Good. Let's do that again. Sometimes, because some people, you bend your knees and we bend our knees like this and we bring them forward. Ooh, bend. Not, yeah. <laughs> you, yes. Not good for the knees. So you slowly look down and see if you can see your toes as you bend and then just take your hips back. Yeah. That keeps a nice straight spine. I have some really good news. Okay. When we work our quads and we have our quadriceps toned, mm -hmm. they burn calories even when we're at rest. Ooh, we all get strong quads. Thank you. <laughs> 
But the other thing is that you want to have flexible quads and hamstrings because the hamstrings, the back of your thighs, especially if some of you are runners, they get very tight and what they govern the back. So if the hamstrings get tight, then the they low back gets, back. Yes. yes. And so we will also, we have many yoga poses that stretch out the hamstrings, but today is about standing poses for balance and strength. So, so that we're started out in Tadasana. And let's just move from being in our legs in Tadasana, what some, do some work with our arms. And one is a self-hug. Brian and I like to do this in class. A nice way to open up, to warm up to yoga, to today's show, is just bring your left arm over to your right shoulder and your right hand underneath. This is a nice self-hug. And, and we will bend forward, so you'll soften your knees. Inhale your elbows up. And then as you exhale, start to bend the knees some more and round over and see how close you can bring your elbows down to your thighs. Oh, stretch your back. One size does not fit all, so don't feel that you have to go too far if your body says no, if Good. you're not ready for it. Good, and then up. Let's do that two more times. So follow along with us and you bend forward. If your body says, no, I'm not gonna go as far as her, then don't. Mm -hmm. And then inhale back up. And you press down with your feet as you lift up. I love that. Uh, awareness is that yes push into your feet use the strength of your legs to bring yourself to standing good and then we'll switch we'll take the other arm take your right arm on top left arm yeah and remember we're mirroring so it's yes. our left and your right that's right <laughs> inhale your arms up and let's round for it you know i was um i love to read articles about yoga and different magazines magazines that aren't even yoga magazines and i was in Florida this past week, reading in Sarasota, there's an article about a fellow who's a, a medical doctor, and he just discovered yoga in 2007, and actually discovered alternative medicine. He's still a medical doctor, but he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And now he has, you know, he knows he can't cure it and release, but he was getting really stiff, and he was shuffling. And he's been now practicing yoga for a year. He doesn't shuffle, he's out of pain, he is, he said it's just it's changed his life. I just love hearing that, you know, so yoga does work. So what do we got for this We're gonna one? do a, a wide stretch with our arms okay, to I'll reach out. Through. Sometimes when we do this sequence, we take our arms way up overhead. But for some of you, excuse me, some of you, um, it could be tight for your shoulders. So for this sequence, we're just gonna take our arms right out to the side with our breath. So bring them down to your side. As you inhale, Open your palms and take your arms out wide. Just straight line, fingertip to fingertip on the inhale. Exhale, take the hands back to the hips. Good, nice. just move with your breath. Knees unlocked. Mm -hmm. Four corners of your feet pressing evenly. Exhale down. Beautiful. Nice, let's do that a few more times. I yeah. like that. Yeah. And again. Now, a secret to this is to let your breath flow as long as it takes you to move your arms. So you're not gulping, you're not trying to suck the air in or blow it out too quickly. You let it move slowly. Can we do it one more time? Sure, let's go. So if you're still on this, doing the show with us, just notice your stance. You want to keep yourself in Tadasana. But again, if both Brian and I have been doing this practicing yoga a long time and we've been standing in Tadasana a lot. So if it's tiring and your body goes, nah, you know, you just move around if you need to, but then come back to standing. <laughs> yeah, shake those hips. All right, so let's do a balance pose since this is standing balance. Mm -hmm. And the one I want you to practice with us, just a simple one, because we lose our balance over time and it's easy to practice and then it's easy to find your balance again. So you're gonna start with your left foot. Just pick it up and bring it right, just one foot ahead. So you can move your weight into your left foot. Find that distribution of weight between the ball of the foot and your heel, and slowly bend your right knee. And all you're gonna do is just lift your toes off the floor. Oh, so the toes are right there if you need to put them back down again. Also, if you feel very unstable, stand near the wall or near a doorway so that your hand can be right on the door facing. Good, or a chair. Or a chair. Good, yeah, excellent. And then set your right foot down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, cause they can see your ankles. This is an amazing pose to strengthen your ankles. So I'm sure the cameraman can get our ankles. So let's try the other side. You step your, your right foot forward and just notice, you can even notice for yourself, but how, once you start to balance in that, in your right foot, how much little movement in your ankle, just continually monitoring the 
balance to hold you there. Another thing is, as Brian said, a chair or a wall, but also find something to focus on. Maybe out on the floor in front of you, breathing. Oh, yeah, everybody holds their breath when they're balancing. <laughs> I was holding my breath And just then now. set your foot down. <laughs> oh, Good. No. We got another balance one. How about the one foot one in front of the other? Oh, in line? Yeah. Like on, ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. So now, your right foot, our left, we're going to be on, that's your foundation. Then mm -hmm. step your left foot forward. And now, both knees bend a little bit. And then you toe heel, you move that left foot directly in front of the right. Ooh. So this is like balance beam. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how all of a sudden you try that, whoo, even though your both feet are on the floor, on the ground. Did you know that wobbling is okay in this? Because as you're wobbling, your brain is sensing where you need correction and you're stimulating all the muscles of balance. Okay, Yoga good. surfing. Yeah. <laughs> I did talk to somebody recently. They said that one of their most favorite yoga videos was yoga for surfing. He said, I loved it. He's all standing poses, trying to get his balance. So you can wobble. <laughs> good. Are we going to step out of this and yes. change sides? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Dry ground again. <laughs> All right, so let's... Now, your left foot is the foundation, all right, and then you step your right foot forward, both knees bend, and you toe heel, your left oh, foot just, in okay. front of your right. Ah. Mm. And then we slowly bend the knees a little bit, right? Yeah, you've got to bend the knees to get so you can have that... A dynamic balance. Right. See, so if you're locked and you have no place to move. Did you know the locked, when you lock the knee, it affects your circulation? It presses on the blood vessels that service the leg. Yes, and in fact, you know, the, that whole, the, the guards, the, the queen's mm -hmm. guards, That's they are required to keep, you know, every few minutes bending their knees, you know, mm -hmm. not keeping their legs locked, because what they found, that they would, they would faint. Mm -hmm. Whoa, wobble! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You so got a big wave. Huh? I did. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. I just shake your feet out. That's a nice, those two bounce, very simple, but they do, they're a little challenge, aren't they? So I want to make it a little even more of a challenge. All right. All right, so try this with us. You, again, this time make your left foot your balancing foot. And you'll first bend the right knee, and then see if you can bring the right knee up in front of you. Oh. Oh, and I just hold it right, right there, or try if you can bring it up a little further. It's even more challenging for me today. See if you can grab the front of your shin. Whew and pull in on the knee. The supporting leg is not locked. Breathe. Here you can actually, if you have the ability, circle your foot. And I'm doing an alternate hold to the underside of the thigh. Wonderful. It's good to show. You know, and it's like, okay, I'm focusing, I'm concentrating, I'm breathing, I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Balance right. poses are challenging, even for us. Mm -hmm. All right, set your foot down. <gasps> oh, thanks. Other side. Now this is my challenge. This is my foot. My my left foot is has some major issues that I have to get fixed. But I've been putting it off because I'm doing lots of yoga. Let's see if I can let's see if I can balance here. Do you know I actually balance better on my left foot? Because well, we're not one, symmetrical no. in our bodies with what we do. One side, yeah, one side is better. One doesn't. We always. may have a little more developed awareness on one side. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna fall. Oh no. <laughs> Come down. If, if you haven't already, <laughs> bring your foot down, find your balance between both feet. Oh, you know what is a nice balance? What? Uh, with both feet on the floor is to lift your arms and lift your heels. Oh, and that yeah. works your calves. Let's so, do that with the breath. We've that done sounds that before. Great. Okay, yeah. so join us here. But now our feet are a little wider, right? For Yes, a okay. little wider. Mm -hmm. So your feet are almost hip width apart, or they are hip width apart. Okay. So you lead us. Yeah. So inhale, take your arms wide and out as you lift your heels up. A small amount, a medium amount, or way up high. That's inhale, exhale, take them back to the floor and take your arms back towards your hips. So you, you synchronize the lifting of your heels with the lifting of your arms. That's right. Yeah, okay. Let's try that again. Inhale, inhale lift. I'm gonna take my arms all the way up. No, I... you don't have to do okay, that. And see. exhale down. Remember, wobbling's okay. Yeah, this, this strengthens your ankles. Definitely, and your calves. Inhale, lift up. When your toes grip the floor or the mat. And exhale down. Nice. Good. Let's, uh, Let's one throw more time. one little harder thing in oh, here. Just a little harder. Brian, okay. Inhale all the way up. Uh oh. Now, can you come only halfway down as you exhale? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> inhale back up. <laughs> you mean just your feet are just hovering. And then heels. halfway down. Oh. 
Bye. <laughs> Hope you're trying this with us. And all the way up. As you inhale. And now the ground is calling. Let's take the heels down and the hands down to the hips. Ah. Wonderful. <laughs> Love it. Good. Well, we have a standing, uh, several different standing poses that strengthen our legs. And one is a, a variation on warrior. And I want to show you that one. And then there's two different variations. One on warrior one and one you have for warrior two. Right. Okay, so we'll do warrior one first. These names have been around for a long time and we're saying them in English, warrior one. If you're so inclined, you really want to learn the Sanskrit, it's Vira Bhadrasana, and we'll spell that for you later. Yes, if you really want to learn, <laughs> come to our teacher training. Yes, we teach you Sanskrit. All right, so, uh, we're on, we're on yoga mats, and so if you're now practicing with these standing poses, and you, we didn't tell these beforehand, but you are, maybe have your shoes on, it'd probably be better to take them off and get barefoot, and either have a yoga mat, because I know a lot of you watch this show, and you've got your whole little room set up, you've told me you've got the yoga, you, you come home and you've been, you T-vote us, and you're ready to do it, so get your mat out, and but if you don't have a mat, make sure you're barefoot. You can stand on carpet, you can stand on hardwood floor, and what we'll do is, you're, if you have a mat, you're going to come to the front of your mat with your feet about hip width apart. And so we did some balance, so you can find the balance between both feet. Shift your balance to your left foot, and you pick up your right foot and just step it back. Now, you don't have to step back too far, but step it back far enough that you can bend your left knee. So Brian's going to modify. He's going to take a shorter stance, and I'm going to take a little wider stance. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways and so show something. Okay. Anytime you do this, you can stay in the pose. Right. Anytime you do this, it's very important to leave your knee over your ankle or a little behind it. When you start taking it out toward your toes, that's when you start putting the knee in jeopardy. So leave it right over the knee. Even if your feet are close, you take a little shorter stance or the wider stance. The knee never goes out Good. toward the toes. Good. Excellent. So we'll do this changing sides. We'll do it four times on the, this side and then we'll do it four times on the other. What you'll do is bring your arms up and then bring them into a cactus position. So the elbows are bent to a 90 degree and your knee is bent, maybe 90 or a little bit less. Good, but they're bent. Now take a breath in and then exhale, hold. You can deepen into the pose. And on your next breath in, inhale, you'll straighten your front leg and straighten your arms. Yeah, and then we exhale, we bend the elbows and bend the knee. Beautiful, inhale. Straighten. As you straighten your arms, you turn the palms to face each other. That's better for the shoulder joint. And then exhale, you bend the elbows and turn the palms forward. Again, better for the shoulder joint. This position is great for your back, for your upper back, to help restore the natural curve. Yes. Because when we uh, work computers or play video games, it's not just age that happens. It's young people can get the rounding of the spine. Yes. Kyphosis. Yes. And then bend one more time. So now this... bring your hands to your top of your thigh and step forward. So this sequence can really help your upper back yes. as well as strengthening your legs and doing all those other good wow, things. Wow, multi -dimension. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's try the other side. So you, your balance is in your right foot. Lift up your left and step back. And remember we're mirror imaging. Yes. So if you, right, just the opposite of what we're doing. Arms spin. Good, take a breath in. As you exhale, just hold the pose, and then let's inhale, take some movement into it, bending, straightening your front leg, straightening your arms. Exhale, bend your elbows, bend your knee. Beautiful. Inhale, breathe in and out through your nose. And exhale. I think we did four times we were talking, so let's do that too, four times on this side. And down, exhaling. It looks such a simple move, but it really works your legs, works your back and your shoulders. Beautiful, hands to your thigh, and let's step forward. And then you'll show us the one for Vera 2? Yes. Great. Now our mats are not really set up for that, you so we're going to share space. Do we have time to switch them? Sure. Let's do it real quick. You don't have to change your mats. Now, since this It'll is... just be offset there. Like there? Yeah, so you can okay. do it there. Right there. Okay. Now take your feet a little wider than your hips. And depending on your range of motion, you may take this even deeper. But you're gonna take your right foot and turn it out to the right. You're gonna take your left heel and take it out just a bit. 
Now, this sets the stage for your body to move toward your right, but you keep the center of your body turned toward the television. And take your arms wide and out, turn your palms up, bring your hands up overhead, and then bend your right knee just enough so that it's over the ankle and not beyond. This is a variation on the Warrior One. Because in usually Warrior One, we're turned and we're, we're facing the knee that's bent. But this is the variation where we're open to the side. Now turn your palms out and bring your hands to the height of your shoulders. Straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Good. And breathe. Long, steady breathing in and out through your nose. Ah, let's do a little breath with this. Turn your palms up. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, take your arms out just and as And we still they keep were. our front knee bent. Yes, we're staying in position. This is a fire pose. Inhale, lift up. Mm -hmm. I hope we you start feel this in your legs. Burning energy. Burning, as Brian said, strong quads, burns. Burns calories even mm -hmm. when we're at rest. Ooh, I love that. So inhale, lift up. Good, and then wide again. But that's plenty for that. Take your right hand right down to your leg. And then take your left arm up and over. And let's do a side stretch. Wow, that's reaching nice. Reaching out through the fingers. And we keep the right arm, you keep your right arm straight? Right, or just a little bend in the elbow. Okay. Now this is a modification. We can do this pose very deeply, but you don't have to do that to get some good balance and stretch out of it. On your next inhalation, take your top hand back and lift your lower arm back until your straight line fingertip to fingertip. Keep your right knee bent. You can reverse. Yeah. Let's lift up Ooh. your right hand now just enough. It can be a small amount or all the way up. Breathe. Good. And back down. And we change sides. Yeah, huh? and then bring your hands down and bring your knee in. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. You bend the left knee until it's over the ankle, but not beyond. Let's take our arms out wide, and then take them up overhead as we did before. The shoulders are broad, away from your ears. We're not trying to draw the arms up to the neck, but we keep them broad. Now, even with our arms up, we're lifting the side body. Mm -hmm. We're we stretching the side. So inhale in place. Exhale, sweep your arms out wide, straight line, fingertip to fingertip. Ah, beautiful. Good. Turn the palms up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach out. Good. Again, inhale, lift. Boy, we're getting close to the end again. It goes so fast. And exhale. But we have enough time to finish this side. Yeah. So now keep, we take Stay the with us. Down to the leg. Your right arm comes up over your ear. You know what, I like this because then you just push into that right heel. Push yeah. into your straight leg all the way down to the foot and then extend into your arm, right? right. Beautiful. Breathe. And now sweep that overhead arm back down to the leg and then your left hand comes up. It's our right, your left. Now we keep the left knee bent. As many people lift up and that leg straightens, yeah. but keep it bent. You're working the legs in this. You know, this is a balance pose in itself. I just sort of turned my head and tried to look at you and I lost, almost no. lost my balance. <laughs> and now, straight line, fingertip to fingertip again. Good. Good. And we straighten. Well, you know, as we started the session in standing mountain pose in Tadasana, we're going to end it in Shavasana, which is just lying down. Mm -hmm. So it's a standing pose, is legs it? straight. Lying down. Tadasana on the floor? Tadasana on the floor. It was a supta tadasana. <laughs> supta tadasana. Yes. Supta meaning supine. Yes. All right. So you can join us here if you want. Come on down and lie on your back so we don't have much time. Oh. Let's take a deep breath in. Let yourself release as you exhale into the floor. One of my uh, private students' favorite poses is to draw your knees towards your heart. Let's do that for a second. Just oh. for a second because we're, second. we're I know. zoning oh, out. It feels good. Good, okay, that's plenty. <laughs> Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and let yourself drop into Shavasana. And as we always say, from our hearts to yours, Namaste. Namaste.
Yoga with Andrea is underwritten by the Arkansas Yoga Center. This eco-friendly facility will delight your senses and relax your body and mind. We offer classes in yoga, tai chi, meditation, pilates, and yoga teacher training. Our qualified instructors ensure that everyone is safe and comfortable at all class levels. Centrally located in Fayetteville next to Woodland Junior High. Visit us at the Arkansas Yoga Center to renew, refresh, and savor the stillness.